Hey guys, I'm Dr. McFarland, and in this video, we're gonna look at the Tomaster Pro and setting up Switch Link in a already made preset. So basically what this means is I'm just taking a preset that comes stock on the Tomaster Pro. Maybe just reconfigure the switches that we currently have pulled up in the preset. So as of right now, we do have an amplifier, which I can turn that back on. And this is the British 800. <laughs> Okay, it may not be my first choice of amp, but let's just take the gain down a little bit, if anything, and kind of clean it up. Okay, also the first thing I wanna do is make sure I turn the amp level all the way up. That's gonna ensure I have just a nice steady volume across all my presets. And then you can always push on the mixer and check your USB one and two. That's the one that I found works the best to determine how loud you actually are. So I'm just below that negative 10 area and that's fine for me. So let's look at some of the switches we already have in place. We do have a tape echo, which is before the amp, which means if you have any gain on the amp, it's going to kind of dirty up and kind of make the delay sound nice and mushy. And versus if we had this after the amplifier, it would sound like this. Okay, so a little cleaner after the amp, but we'll live with the, how it is before the amp. Okay, also that extra gain on the amplifier amplifies the delay, so it makes it a little louder than it normally would after the amp. We do have a large plate. <laughs> And that's rather large, but I'll live with it for now. Here's the digital delay. Which is not as much a delay as it is a very, very, very short echo. Kind of gives you the sense of like a, uh, like a tiled bathroom almost kind of sound. Okay, but we're just going with it. Here's a Univibe. And then we have Octafuzz. And Round Fuzz, which is like your fuzz face. Okay, so that's what we have to work with. And what we need to do first is go into foot switch assign. Let's just go ahead and alternate our delays. So what we can do is go into the tape echo and go to switch link. And we're gonna assign this to switch link A. And then go over to our digital delay, do the same thing over there. So what's gonna happen now is when I turn the tape echo on, Okay, and then I go to my digital delay. It's going to automatically turn off the tape echo. Okay, so that makes it pretty easy. And the pedals were already assigned to the switch anyway. So if I were starting from scratch, I would do things slightly differently. But since they're already assigned and I don't really have to worry about the amp turning on or off or anything else, I'm just basically toggling between these two. Now, whatever is on, I can turn that off, then go to my digital delay and still turn that off. And that's perfectly normal and you would do that anyway. But the fact that I can now toggle between the two is pretty cool. Now, you can't have both of them on at the same time because I have assigned them to switch link A, which is basically saying they are now going to toggle on and off. So I think you get the point. Let's do the same thing for the Octafuzz. So foot switch assign, Octafuzz, and we're gonna use switch link B for this. Okay. 
And there we go. We're gonna save it. And now I can have my octofuzz on, I can turn it off. I can turn the round fuzz on, turn it off. But then I can also leave one on and then just toggle between the two. Okay, I feel like this is a little loud. I'm gonna turn this down a bit. Maybe turn the boost down as well. Something like that, okay. And then when I'm ready to turn them both off, I just click the one that's currently on. Now let's do the universe vibe. And really for this one, there's really no other effect that I would want to toggle on and off with. But let's just say, for example, I want to go straight from a univibe over to a fuzz. But we're going to include the vibe within switch link B. So now that I can turn on, I can toggle over to my fuzz. I can toggle over to my round fuzz. Now I can turn them on and off from whatever the last one is on. So I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, it's just a little workflow thing if you want to incorporate that into any one of these stock presets that come on the Tomaster Pro from the factory, then you can totally utilize that and just kind of make the presets more of your own. So let's play through a little bit and see what we have. <laughs> Here's the tape I go before. Okay, and I'm actually not too fond of that really short sound. So I'm gonna bring the time up a little bit. Maybe turn the subdivisions on. Maybe like a dotted eighth. And then turn the feedback up. So we'll make it a more traditional delay. Turn the mix down and turn the tone down. Make it just a little darker. Okay, we'll save that. Okay, so we definitely have two different tonalities at this point. Turn the feedback up a bit. I'm gonna make this one core note. So we got a core note on the tape echo, then a dotted eighth on the digital delay. Okay, it's pretty cool. One last thing I'm gonna do is simply just drag and drop. And it's gonna swap them out. So that makes it pretty easy. And I'm actually gonna do this. Let's do it this way. To the fuzzes on the bottom and then the large plate on top. So I'm okay having my foot going between top to bottom or vice versa for the echoes, but then having the fuzz right next to each other on the same row. Uh, I'm not gonna access the vibe or the plate all that often. So it is what it is. So if you have any questions about the Tomaster Pro, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm pretty sure I just crossed 14,400 subs as of today, which I'm steadily growing every month. And the more subscribers I have, that just means the more people I know I am helping. But the vast majority of viewers on any YouTube channel is rarely subscribed anyway. So if you are a subscriber, I appreciate it and I thank you. And a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is zounds.com. If you don't wanna worry about credit checks and zero interest payments, then definitely check out zounds.com and they do very, very fast shipping, uh, usually one to two days, depending on where you're at in the US. And uh, always fast, always friendly, always takes care of you for any needs that you have. So. Zounds.com, I will have links in the description that are affiliate links. So if you want to help support the channel, that is a way to do that. And until next time, I'm Dr. McFarland. I'll see you in the next video. Keep rocking.